we go. The first pitch of game five. Wiggs hitting 353 in the series. Ball one. And he hits it sharply to Whitaker. Wiggins to the plate. He is out at the plate. Here's the way the Tigers stack up offensively. Lou Whitaker at second base and Alan Trammell at shortstop. Kirk Gibson in right field and Lance Parrish behind the plate. Line to right field, and here we go again. And there it goes for Michigan State and all of Tigerdom. There's a base hit. Thurman is just about done. Harris scores 3 0 Detroit. Here comes Dick Williams. And the out was recorded at the plate. And he slashes one of the hole, knocked down, and that's all. And the run is in. They give Garvey a couple of opportunities. You know he's going to pick somebody up. Rabakwa at third, Templeton at second. Fastball, and that's hit to left center. Lemon on the run, flags it, tagging his Bavakwa to score, holding his Templeton. So Brown just hit in tough luck. He drilled that ball. Fastball hit into left center. Lemon was shallow. Here comes Templeton. Lemon's throw cut off by Evans. He goes to Trammell. It gets away. Whitaker tried to glove it and couldn't, and the Padres have tied it up. It is the moment of truth for Andy Hawkins as Trammell comes up with the bases loaded. Two out, three, three in the fourth. High fly ball. It's playable. Bobby Brown is there. And the Padres get out of the cave. And Andy Hawkins looked right down the throat of the Tiger and got away with it. Boy, you talk about having a Tiger by the tail. Look out here. High pop fly. Out goes Wiggins. Makes the catch and coming to the plate and scoring is Gibson. I can't believe that Wiggins caught that ball. I don't know why Quinn didn't run him off the play. Quinn is coming into the play. He had an easy play if he comes in and catches it. 20 out of 23 strikes. Ground ball to third. Marty Castillo throws him out. Seven in a row retired by Lopez. Eight in a row retired by the Tigers. So the goose is here, but as we mentioned, he's not leading. They clocked him at 95 miles an hour warming up. <laughs> Twice fly to left. In the fifth inning, his fly ball was important. That Gibson could get the second. And he lines it to that. Back goes Martinez. Gone. Fastball and a high drive in the left field. Herndon looking up, and this one gone. So after we show you his specialty screwball, he throws Pavacqua a fastball. We got a game again. Tigers five, Padres four. And they got him picked off. Bergman goes to Whitaker. The time run is picked off. Yep, he's got him around. Bunning a one hopper to Nettles. He's going to go to Templeton. He's off the bag. He missed the bag. He wasn't expecting the throw. He was off the bag. I can't believe what's happening. It's like uh, Padre Busters. I mean, the Gremlins have hit the field. Guys are not catching fly balls. He assumed he was going to first base. Now, watch this. Nettles, he doesn't hesitate. And Templeton is standing in front of the bag. He's in front of the bag. Look at the look on Templeton. You don't have to say anything. He's so shocked. I mean, it's a real Halloween finish. There's the bunt to Gossage, and he has to throw to Wigan. First base open, and they will walk Gibson, I believe, with Harris coming up. It figures they'll take the bat right out of Gibson's hand. And now Dick Williams is going to go out there. Well, you gotta, you got to believe that he's going to put him on with four pitches. Well, they're making a decision here, and Williams is in charge. You know what's interesting? Kirk Gibson made his major league debut, his very first at bat in the big leagues, against Goose Gossett. That's a great way to break in. And Gossett struck him out on three pitches. Blew him away, Sparky says. 
And maybe because of that, Gosh, is saying, I can get him. Well, we'll see. Ball one. The infield is up. They give Gibson the left field foul line. Brown is in left. And there it goes! Again, we'll take you into the locker room after this game. If the Tigers hold on to any part of this four-run lead, and the way this crowd is going, we're just going to be quiet and let you listen and enjoy it to your heart's content. Johnny Grubb preparing for the onslaught took his cap off and put it in his shirt, and that's why most of them have their caps off. They'll be running out there. Fans love the game. Even Trzuski. He doesn't like to take his head off. He hasn't got that much grass. Sparky Anderson, 104 victories in the regular season, Sparky. You add on the postseason, you lost only one. The composite is 111 and 59. Bobby, I don't care about none of that. The only thing I care is the public could see, to me, one of the most class teams and people that I've ever been around. The young man that won the most valuable player, I say it, I don't care what nobody said. He's the best player in baseball. We fell that way. That's what we're going to say. He deserves everything and every, when Allen speaks, he speaks for this team. I'll see you later. <laughs> Sparky will be back. I think there's a phone call waiting for him eventually. We'll turn to Alan Trammell. Nine for 20, including a couple of homers, the MVP. Well, thank you, Bob. Uh, I'll tell you what, I wish we could divide it up between all of us. I know that Jack was very deserving, Kirk Gibson. It's just one of these things that everybody's been contributing for our ball club. I just happen to have a good series, but uh, it's divided among all of us, that's for sure. Alan, yesterday's ball game. That had to be the thrill of a lifetime. The two two-run homers, the four RBIs. You're no question, but this is even special. Right here, this is what it's all about. We're going to get that ring. This is the most important day of my life. I'm going to celebrate. Up here, Sparky. Jim Campbell, the president of the ball club, is also here. And on the line, I believe, the president of the United States. Sparky. Mr. President, I know, I know that you are a great Cubs fan, but I know if you've seen these kids, you'd be a Tiger fan. Well, Mr. President, I know you love those Cubs, but if you knew around these Tigers, you'd love them more. <laughs> Tremendously difficult to hear the conversation. Well, I'll tell you what, now we'll sit down to some hard rooting. <laughs> we'll return to the Tiger Clubhouse in just a moment. Stay with us.